Hi, today we are going to talk about SAT inequalities. Now, as we know in maths, when two values are equal, we use this symbol, the equality symbol. So, for example, if it is 20 plus 35, you know they are equal. So, we say 20 plus 35 is equal to 55. Or if it is not equal to then this is a symbol for not equal to when values are not equal then we can use this symbol so 22 minus 13 is not equal to 10 but we have these four symbols which are used for inequalities it means something is either larger than the other one or smaller than the other one so in the first example 20 is less than 28 this is how it is uh, what does it mean so it means is less than the same symbol when it is flipped so it becomes is greater than so 28 is greater than 20 and when there's an equality sign below that so it means for example the first one a plus b is less than or equal to so the sum of a plus b can also be equal to 34 or a is less than 34. Similarly, m minus n is greater than 46 or it can also be equal to 46. So in cases like we can say m minus n is at least 46. So this at least can be replaced by this symbol because at least means it's at least equal to this or it can be more than that also now in SAT our understanding of inequality is tested by these type of questions there's an, uh, an easy question here first Emily told her mother that she would be out for no more than four hours now if T represents the time in hours which inequality represents this situation so there are four inequalities given we have to find out which one tells exactly what's said in the statement so Emily told her mother that she would be out for no more than four hours no more than four hours it means it can be four hours but not more than that so it can be 4 hours it's equal to 4 but not more than it means less than 4 so b t is less than or equal to 4 is the correct answer another one you will find these type of questions very commonly in the SAT in which there's a large text to read Alex works at a store that sells two products A and B costing $200 and $300 respectively. Last month his target was to sell at least 200 products in total. While he did not meet his goal, the total value of the products he sold exceeded $50,000. Now which of the following system of inequalities describes the number of products Alex sold last month? So in all of these four choices there are two inequalities given both of them have to be correct for the answer to be considered correct and if you notice these answer choices the first statement the first inequality is the sum of a and b and either it is less than 200 or more than 200 so a and b they are the two products so the two products are so less than or more than the other inequality in the choices is 200 a plus 300 b 200 times a because all a's are sold sold for 200 dollars and all b's are sold for 300 dollars so the revenue collected by selling a must be 200 times a or 200 a and that from b will be 300 b so it is the total revenue collected should be 200 a plus 300 b and that's all the same 200A plus 300B can be seen in all these four choices and that 50,000 is also there so all these four choices given 
have only these greater than or less than sign flipped that's what we have to find out which one is correct here now if we go to the question the target was to sell 200 products but he did not meet his goal he did not meet his goal it means he was not able to sell 200 products it means a plus b was not more than 200 so these two choices b and d get cancelled okay at least 200 was not met so we are left with the other two choices which are say, saying a and c that a plus b is less than 200 yes that's that's what what is said in the uh, question statement now we have to select the correct one out of the other information that's given here so it's saying the total value of the products he sold exceeded fifty thousand dollars so the total value of the products that is 200 a plus 300 b exceeded fifty thousand so that was more than fifty thousand so we can see the answer choice c correctly shows what's given in the question so that's how we attempt the SAD questions regarding inequalities thank you for today